Today, let's take a look at a man who was undone. I'm speaking of the prophet Isaiah, and I'm going to read to you from Isaiah chapter 6, verse 5, the words of the Lord through the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah said, So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. When the prophet Isaiah saw the angels mentioned in the previous few verses, those angels in all of their holy humility, all of their obedience, all of their praise to God, Isaiah realized that he was not like the God of all majesty. He also realized that he was not like the angels. You see, they could cry out those words, holy, 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 and praise God beautifully. Isaiah could not because he saw himself as a man of unclean lips. When Isaiah saw the Lord, he knew what kind of man he was. As poorly as he compared to those seraphim surrounding God's throne, that was relatively nothing to how he was compared to the Lord. The vision, or perhaps it was an actual experience of the throne of God, it did not immediately make Isaiah feel good. The more clearly he saw the Lord, the more clearly he saw how bad he was. Isaiah's deep sense of depravity is consistent with the experiences of other godly men in the presence of the Lord, such as Job, Daniel, Peter, and the Apostle John. Each one of them had similar experiences. You see, Isaiah knew his broken state before God when he despaired. He said, For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Now, by all outward appearances, Isaiah was a righteous and godly man. Yet when he saw the enthroned King, the Lord of hosts, he saw how sinful he was in comparison. When you lay a diamond on a black background and shine light on it, you can see every flaw and imperfection, and all of Isaiah's flaws and imperfection were being made clearly known. Now, what made Isaiah feel undone? Isaiah saw his sinfulness and the sins of his people. Mainly, he saw them in terms of sinful speech. He said, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Friends, by nature, our lips are full of flattery and false intent. Psalm 12 says, with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. By nature, our lips lie, and they're proud. Psalm 31 says, Let the lying lips be put to silence which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. By nature, our lips deceive. Psalm 34 says, Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. By nature, our lips can be violent. Psalm 59 says, Swords are in their lips. And by nature, our lips bring death to others. Psalm 140 says, The poison of asps is under their lips. Now, Isaiah did not think for a moment that this was his only sin, but he saw that this was an example of the great and incurable disease of sin that was in him and in his people. Friends, no one likes to feel undone. But to genuinely say, I am undone, and to say it before the Lord, that's not a bad place to be. So today, recognize your need before a glorious God and receive what He gives you in Jesus Christ.